So that is where I'm planning to stand, right there. And Mitchell and Tommy are all the way down there. That is a long lens. Steven is huge in the frame. Wait, hold up your hand and see. Let me see if I can count how many fingers are on your head. When you're starting out as a filmmaker, you're always looking for ways to get gear as cheap as possible. That's why we wanted to test if you could get some actually usable filmmaking gear from Wish.com, or is it all too good to be true? If you don't know what Wish is, it's a website where you can buy things for pretty mind-blowing prices. You've probably seen their ads all over Facebook and Instagram, and they have a decent amount of filmmaking gear. You guys seem to really enjoy the last video we made where we tried out gear from Wish. When we made that video, there were a couple things we found but didn't get a chance to include, so that's why today we thought it'd be fun to go round two on testing film gear from Wish.com. On the shopping list today, we have three items, a 4K action camera, a remote control dolly, and a telephoto lens. Let's hop into Wish right now, and we'll see what we can find. Okay, so I just hopped on my computer here. I have loaded up wish.com, and I think the first thing is to just kind of hop right in, get to it. First things first, we're gonna search up the 4K action cam. The one I saw before was this one for $49.16. Apparently, it used to be $559, but I mean, they're never never truthful with, the, with those things, so. It looks pretty similar to a GoPro. It has the same mounting type and same mounting screws. So we should be able to potentially maybe use it on the FPV drone if we want. So we'll see what that's gonna be like. It has way more colors than a GoPro. You can get yellow, white, blue, silver, or black. I think I'm just gonna stick with a nice classic black. Yeah, that's the action cam that we have decided to go with. So I'm gonna hit buy. Okay, next up, we're gonna search for the dolly, the remote control dolly here. Oh, I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. $118 for this guy. Apparently it has some motors in it, so it goes forward and backwards it isn't necessarily a dolly but more of a remote control kind of camera car thing that goes back and forth so i always it's kind of weird and i thought it'd be kind of fun to try out and see what it's like yeah 118 dollars add that one to the cart and we'll move on to the third item which is the telephoto lens so I think the one that I was gonna go for, this one right here, $130 for a 420 to 800 millimeter lens. Now, this is the one that I'm most excited for, probably the piece de resistance, because I know that normally telephoto lenses cost like thousands and thousands of dollars, especially for one that goes to 800 millimeters. So I'm really curious to see what this is actually gonna be like. The mount type I'm gonna be getting is for Canon because we plan to put this on our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K just to give it the best chance of doing well. So I'm gonna add that one to the cart. Also with the, te with the telephoto lens, I was looking to get a two times teleconverter, meaning we could convert the 420 to 800 millimeter lens into a 1600 millimeter lens just by adding this little extension tube that goes in between the camera and the lens. And I think that's everything that we're looking for. Let's go over to our cart and see how much the total is gonna be. Ouch. So for everything to get ourselves an action camera, a remote control dolly, a telephoto lens, and the two times teleconverter extension tube, it is looking at 383 Canadian dollars. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and order these things and we'll see in about a month when they get here, what it's actually gonna be like. This is probably a good time to tell you guys to go down, like the video, and share it with all your friends so we can kind of recoup some of that money. If it does well, and you guys seem to really enjoy this one as well, we plan to do another part. So if you guys wanna see another part, also go down, leave it a like, it really helps out. We are just going to order these items, and we're gonna wait about three months for the, all the items to arrive. So I'll see you guys in July. Okay, so it is three months later. I ordered this stuff back in May and only now has it all finally arrived. Well, actually not all of it. I think we got the lens here, the action cam and the teleconverters. Something we're missing is the little remote control dolly that we ordered. It just hasn't arrived. It's been three months, the order's been closed and it just it's just not here. So we're gonna just move on. Um, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Something that is a little bit weird though is that they seem to send us two teleconverters. We only ordered one, but they sent us two, so that's kinda cool. So this will actually turn our lens from normally an 800 millimeter lens into a 1600 millimeter lens, and then with two on it, 
assuming we can put two, it's gonna turn it into a 3200 millimeter lens. So that's gonna be pretty fun to try out. I think the next step is to just start opening these things. I'm gonna start with what I assume is the the action cam here, and I've got myself a trusty X-Acto knife so we can get that thing out and just start hacking and slashing. They have a lot of bubble wrap for a, an action cam. Look at that, that is so padded in there. This is it, it is a 4K Wi-Fi action cam. Let's open it up and see what it's like on the inside. There it is. Looks very much like a GoPro. It has the clear case like the older GoPros used to have. I think the Hero 4 had a clear case on it. Also comes with some accessories here. Comes with some sticky mounts, cable, more GoPro accessories. A tripod mount, that's always useful. Some stickers in case you wanna deck out your laptop with some stickers and a manual which no one will ever read. The camera looks pretty solid. Looks basically like a GoPro. It is waterproof, so we might do some underwater filming with it and see what it looks like. Case there, GoPro here. Not GoPro, but action cam. Here's the, oh, the clear little cover. Always so satisfying. There's not much to it. It's basically just a, a reskinned knockoff GoPro. This will be pretty exciting to try on the FPV drone. Um, but other than that, I think we're gonna move on to the next items. The other side. Let's open ourselves a lens here, an 800 millimeter lens. I'm excited for this one. This is probably the piece that I'm most excited for. Some sort of mount adapter. I think that's how you attach it to your camera. Look at that. It is a 420 to 800 millimeter lens. God, this is cool. Look at that. It's got a bit of weight to it. I'm honestly kind of impressed with how it's full metal. It's a lot smaller than I would have thought a 400 to 800 millimeter lens would be. It does seem to extend. Again, not too much to this lens. I'm excited to go out and give it a try and see if it actually produces a decent image. Here are the, uh, the teleconverters, two times teleconverters. So this will turn it into a 1600 millimeter lens. And this guy up here. Interesting. Okay, so in theory, theory you take this and you throw it on the front of this. So that my friends, that's what a 1600 millimeter lens looks like. Now we've also got another two times teleconverter here. Go on to here. It's working. So that my friends, that's what a 3200 millimeter lens looks like. And I think all you have to do is grab this part. I think that's how you attach it to your camera. So that is a Canon mount adapter. So you can put it onto a Canon camera or in our case, we can put it onto our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Take the lens off there, throw this guy on. Oh, it's a, it's a little, little loose, but it's on there. That is some serious compensation if I've ever seen it before. Look at that. I can't see anything. Can I? So I can't see anything in it now, but um, it is an F8 lens, so it could just be too dark in here. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do is go outside and test all this gear and run it through its paces. Okay, so we have arrived at our first location to test out the 420 to 800 millimeter lens. Steven is going to be all the way up there on that mountaintop and he's gonna have a piece of cardboard where he's gonna write a message and we're gonna see if we can read it with this lens. It's gonna be kind of a test of both range as well as sharpness and quality to see if we can actually see some detail from this far away. So I'm currently hiking up this mountain here to a really nice viewpoint. So then hopefully Tommy and Mitchell can see me with the giant zoom lens. It's quite a ways, quite steep. I got a little bit more to go and then I'm at the top. So that is where I'm planning to stand, right there. And Mitchell and Tommy are all the way somewhere 
down there. He's right up there. I can see him hiking up the mountain. Yeah, I can see you. Wait, stop for a sec. Yeah, I see you. Keep going. Oh, I see you guys. Yeah, I can see you guys way down there. <laughs> Okay, so Steven has just got to the top of the mountain. I think for our first test, we're gonna try the lens with no teleconverter, just the standard 420 to 800 millimeter lens. And then we're gonna move up to one teleconverter, get that 1600 millimeters, and then stack two on top of each other and theoretically get 3200 millimeters. Go. God made a sign. It says, Mitch sucks. Because now we know how, who the better twin is. Let's see if they can see it from the bottom of the mountain. Okay, we are going to try the first test. No teleconverters, just the lens. Sounds good. I'm just stand here with the sign. Do your best man with sign impression. Okay, so this is the first time we've ever even looked through the lens. And I think I'm just going to see if I can find Steven. Hey, there he is. Can you read it? I cannot read it. He is a little tiny man on that. Oh, wow. That's punching. Okay, this is 400 millimeters. We're gonna move up to 800. Yeah, you can see Steven, but you it's still too wide to see the sign. You kind of just see the top of the hill, but not close enough to read anything. This is, should be 800 millimeters. Wait for it to settle. Oh, that's good. We can, we can see you. We just can't read the sign just yet. So we are at 800 millimeters. I think the next step is to throw the teleconverter on and move it on, move it up to 1600 millimeters and see if we can read the sign after that. That is a long lens. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so I have just thrown it on. It's quite zoomed in now. Um, I can see Steven quite well, actually. I'm just gonna focus it here. I can actually read the sign. You can read it? It says, wait one sec, it's shaking a lot. Does the, does the sign say, Mitch sucks? It does indeed. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the second teleconverter and see if I can zoom in even more to the sign. With a two times teleconverter, it also doubles the, the aperture as well. So this thing was an F16 at 800 millimeters, meaning it was an F32 at 1600 millimeters, and it is now F64 <laughs> at 3200 millimeters. And you can definitely see like there's some speckles of dust and stuff on the end of the lens that you that this camera is picking up. Holy cow, is it punched in? I can you, like, Steven is huge in the frame. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's just Steven. Can you read it? It says, Mitch sucks. Mitch sucks. Mitch does indeed suck. Am I frowning? Smiling? What am I doing? Literally, I can, yeah, you're smiling right now. <laughs> Wait, hold up your hand and see, let me see if I can count how many fingers are on your head. That? That's a three fingers? I don't know. That is four fingers. Five, one, that's a big <laughs> thumbs up, a big two. Holy cow! Oh, it's so cool! Okay, so I think that is it for the 3200 millimeter lens. It is shockingly good for how cheap it was. Next up is to move on to the action camera, do a little bit of underwater shooting and a little bit of FPV drones. We are now at our second location. We've come out to a nice open area and we're gonna try out the action cam. And what better way to try it out than on top of an FPV drone. I don't have any high hopes for this thing because I don't think it has any stabilization, which is quite critical for FPV. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to strap it on and get flying. It's, uh, there's not really much else to it. I'm just doing full auto settings right now. I'm not gonna deal with like white balance or anything. We're just gonna see what image comes straight out of this amazing camera. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty good shot if it looks half decent in the GoPro. It's a pretty successful flight. I don't know what it looks like, so we'll see. <laughs> that was a pretty good first test for this action camera. It said it was fully charged when we started, and then after like a seven minute shot, it's already down to one bar, which is a little concerning. Next up, we're gonna go take this thing underwater and see if we can get anything usable below the surface. Okay, we have arrived at our third and final location. We're gonna be testing out the waterproofness of this GoPro slash action camera. I think how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna go in the water, we're gonna swim around and kind of create a swimming edit with some cool music and B-roll and stuff like that. So all the footage you guys see from this point on is going to be with this action camera. Also, this action camera only has one bar of battery left, so we're gonna go until it dies. This is definitely not gonna be our finest work. And let's get to it. So, see you guys in the water. it for our swimming edit. We just looked back at the footage and it's shockingly good. I'm honestly very impressed with how it turned out. You guys will have seen it in the edit probably a couple seconds ago. But to be honest, all this gear that we got off of Wish actually works quite well. The lens was very impressive. The teleconverters worked quite well, extending the range of the lens. And this GoPro also quite impressive for the price. So would I recommend these things? Sure. If you're looking for a cheap GoPro or a cheap telephoto lens, then why not? It's a lot of fun to just mess around around with. I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, make sure you hit on subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. It really helps us out. And we'll see you guys next Monday. Just stand there with the sign so we can actually start filming. Okay. My God.